our student had appeared in last Olympiad in mathematics and again one Olympiad is coming on 13 November. Though this Olympi Olympiad is coming, it is not same as the previous one. When our student appeared in the previous Olympiad, they shocked that what type of questions are coming, really. But see, Olympiad is not school level examination, it is a national level, state level examination. So that's why we should prepare like that only, that level, Olympiad level. And specially when you know the basic concept, fundamental concepts, formula, everything. After that, how can I apply it? So we are thinking mathematics means calculation. Principal sir also told me that calculation can do in calculator also. And we can do uh, when we are doing the sum, someone can help in do uh, in calculation. But main mathematics is logic. How can I apply, how can we apply the logic? What is inside the question? First you read the question two, three times and what you are asked in the question and how can we apply it? Main thing is application side. But before application, we should know the basic concepts of the mathematics. Last Olympiad exam from our school, it was state-based state -based exam and from our school uh, fourth position got Abhinav Pallav, class 8. <laughs> it was really tough exam. I have seen the question. It is out of the box. Whatever syllabus we have seen, whatever syllabus we are doing, not only, even higher secondary le level, some uh, syllabus are there, that also uh, coming in that exam. And if you see, this is Assam based Olympiad. And from our school, got fourth position. Then also how much mark getting, that is different, but fourth position got. So it is proud of us. Now I'm calling Abhinav Pallav to come over the stage. Next Olympiad is coming on 13th, 13 November. Uh, we are hoping from all the students who are interested, who are not interested actually, all students should appear. Uh, you should know the question paper first. What type of questions are coming? And after that, when you know the question paper, and moreover, when you're going to uh, appear in this exam, then you have a responsibility that we are, I'm going to appear in this type of exam. So that's why you are looking some extra concepts which are not in our syllabus. That actually this type of exam helps us that some extra concept we are reading. Even students also, when you are go, going to appear in that exam, then you think what some extra concepts are required and you also studying yourself. So it helps the older students to appear in that this type of exams. Most of the registration is going on now. The principal sir will declare this one. Again, it will be on 13th, 13 November. And uh, who are interested, we are thinking, because in our school syllabus, whatever they are, I have seen the syllabus, some extra uh, syllabus also. Extra syllabus means what? These are completely school-based syllabus only, not previous one. If you compare to the previous one, it is not like that. So this syllabus is completely strictly to school-based syllabus only, so you can appear nicely. But so, uh, this level type, but this type of course, uh, exams are not uh, school exams. You should know this one be because these are state level, national level. So that's why uh, we are thinking if before 13, if you need some extra concepts to appear in, in this examination, then I can help you from 2 to 4. After the school, we can, uh, we can help you. And I also uh, thinking then 
what what uh, syllabus are not completed that so minimum concept i can give and other you have to study in home many many congratulations to abhinav pallav baro of class 8 you brought pride to the school and this was only possible because of your hard work smart work and the love for the subject and for the curriculum that you are undergoing you have always come forward with your ideas with your interest you have never let it inside you always have expressed it this is what we all want from all the students that do not keep anything inside you if you have talents if you have calibers if you have something to share please come up and show your talents radiate your positive energies through your talents so children this time once again maths olympiad we are going to conduct on 13th november 2022 so the registration is going on today and tomorrow that is dated 27th and date 28 within these two days means today and tomorrow you can register yourself for this olympiad the registration fees is 130 rupees i urge and i request all the parents to encourage the children to come up and participate in such olympiads so that they can actually express themselves more better because many a times we have seen that children are not coming up with certain subjects such as mathematics as we all know some of them has that fear that hesitation sometimes do not allow or do not let them participate so please encourage your children anything is possible i am not saying that this maths olympiad is impossible yes it is difficult but if we do not try and participate ourselves in such competitions how we are going to understand what calibers are hidden inside so this is a golden opportunity that every one of us should grasp so dear children i once again urge and request you to participate in this mathematics olympiad which is going to be on 13th of november today and tomorrow you can register yourself for this mathematics olympiad